Hello everyone. Today I will discuss SIR model for the spread of a disease. It is an application of system of first order ordinary differential equations. Outline of this lecture. First I will discuss how to derive the three first order ODEs of SIR model and then I will discuss the basic reproduction number for SIR model. S, I, and R mean susceptible, infected, and removed. If we divide the, pop, the whole population into three categories, susceptible, infected, and removed. For example, an, if an individual is in the susceptible category and upon interaction with the infected one, uh, that individual become infected, so he or she moves from S to I, and after some period of time due to recovery or death, uh, the individual uh, moves from infected to remote category. Now let me show you the, the model or the system of three first order ODEs. We can write this model in two forms. And the first one we have capital S I N R, and the second one we have small S I N R. Will where small S is equal to capital S by N, small I is equal to capital I by N, and similarly small R. And also capital S plus I plus R is equal to capital N. If we divide by N, we have small S plus I plus R is equal to one. Beta, gamma are constants. Beta is the infection rate, gamma is the removal rate or recovery rate. N is also constant. So these are the three equations. This is the first equation. S dash of T is equal to minus beta S I by N. I dash of T is equal to the same, except with positive sign, minus gamma times I. And R dash is equal to gamma times I. And similarly, we can represent uh, the model in the small s, i, and r variables. Now we will discuss uh, how to derive each of these equations. So the assumption for SIR model are these four assumptions. And the first one, all individuals fit into one of the following three categories. S is equal to S of T susceptibles. Susceptible means the individuals who are capable of being infected or we can say they are at risk or we can say that they can catch the disease anytime whenever they interact, whenever they interact with the infected people. I represents infected population. They are already sick and they can spread the disease whenever they enter it with susceptibles. R is equal to R of T is a remote category of the population. Uh, the people who have recovered from the disease or who have passed away are those who have permanent immunity. And this each individual in this category cannot spread the disease. S plus I plus R is equal to N. Similarly, the second assumption is the population is fixed. The third one is the population is well mixed. And the fourth one is the mixing is homogeneous mixing, which means that all individuals have an equally likely chance of being infected. The fifth assumption is the rates of change of S, I, and R with respect to T are represented by the derivative of S with respect to T, derivative of I with respect to T, and derivative of R with respect to T. To derive the first equation of S, I, R model, let us first define what is beta. Beta is defined as the average number of contacts sufficient to spread the disease of an infected person per unit time. Beta is also called the infection rate of the disease. Suppose an infective individual comes into contact with beta times n total other individuals from the categories S, I, and R. 
out of these beta n individuals, let S by n is the fraction that are susceptible to contracting the disease only. So that beta time S by n is the average number of new infected individuals generated by one infected, one infected individual per unit time. If we multiply beta S by n with i, this represents the average number of new infected individuals generated by all i infected individuals per unit time. Therefore, we can write the derivative of S with respect to t as minus beta time S by n into i or minus beta S i by n, where negative sign shows decrease in S of t as S dash of t less than zero. From calculus, we know that if the derivative of a function is negative in some interval, that function is decreasing in that interval. And here s of t is such function whose derivative is negative. So this is the derivation of first equation of SIR model. Now the derivation of the first term of the second equation of SIR model is the same except with positive sign, which means that the individuals who, are, who become infected move from susceptibles to individuals category. So the number of infected people increases. That's why we put positive sign here and uh, we can apply the same argument from calculus to this term i of t because i dash of t is positive but this equation is not completed yet uh, we need another term also so let us first derive the third equation of his ir model let d represents the number of days of infectious period then gamma is the removal or recovery rate and it is equal to one divided by the number of days of infectious period. Suppose if it takes 14 days to recover one infected individual from the disease, or we can say one hour, if we divide by 14, we can say that one over 14, one over 14 of the individuals are recovered in one day. So in this case, one over 14 will be the gamma. But generally, gamma is 1 divided by number of days of the infectious period, 1 over d. And as we know, the more the number of infected people, the more people will, will be recovered or die. So r dash of t is directly proportional to i of t, and we can write r dash is gamma i of t, where gamma is the constant of proportionality. So this is the third equation of SIR model. Now, a, and this equation tells us that the people are moving from infected category to recovered or removed category. So we have to subtract this from the second equation. So I dash of t is equal to beta s by n minus gamma time i. Now this is the complete second equation. Let us, uh, now what is the basic reproduction number or epidemiological threshold for SIR model? It is defined as the number of secondary infections caused by a single primary infection. In other words, it determines the number of people infected by contact with a single infected person before his death or recovery. The basic reproduction number is very important in epidemiology because an epidemic will occur if the number of infected people increases. Mathematically, we can say if i of t is an increasing function, or from calculus, uh, we can see that i dash is greater than zero. From the second equation of SIR model, we can say that beta SI minus gamma I is greater than zero, or B beta S minus gamma whole multiplied by I is greater than zero. Or as we know that I cannot be zero, so solving this 
inequality, we can say beta s by gamma is greater than 1. Or if we denote beta s by gamma by r naught, which is basic reproduction number. So if basic reproduction number is greater than 1, the epidemic will occur. Similarly, we can say the, num uh, the epidemic will not occur if ba the basic reproduction number is less than 1. The method is the same as the left side. Okay, now R0 or the basic reproduction number is beta s by gamma, which is beta s by gamma into n. If we write the definition of small s, which is capital S by n. So now it is important to note that initially when time is zero, only few people uh, are usually infected and uh, the number of susceptible people is almost n. The whole population is susceptible. So we can cancel s with n. And uh, r naught is equal to beta divided by gamma only. r naught is equal to beta divided by gamma. Or we can say beta is equal to gamma into r naught. In the next lecture, I will discuss uh, how to apply this model uh, to a problem in which we will find the number of susceptible infected and recovered people at any time t. Thank you for watching this video.